So there are all these financial gurus out there telling you they got all these ways you can make these massive profits, whether it's in Forex or crypto or drop shipping or whatever it is, making courses. And the thing is, is we all know they don't really work. It may have worked in a vacuum for one person and it still may work for a vacuum for some people, but these things are hard to duplicate. And today I actually wanna to talk to you about an unlimited money glitch that you never saw coming, but is actually, I believe, legit. Let's get it. Welcome to the channel. I'm your host, The Bad Boy. Guys, we've all thought about it. We've all thought about a time when if we could go back to that time and change a decision, or if we go back and buy Bitcoin or mine Bitcoin early on, imagine how amazing that would be. And for forever, we always thought of this as something that wasn't actually possible. We'd throw out these theories and say, oh, well, you know, if you make a decision here, there's another you that made another decision somewhere else. We'd be like, ah, that's impossible. But it sounds like great for movie plots, right? It really does. But the thing is, is today scientists are actually discovering that a lot of this stuff like multiverse and time travel, it may actually not only be possible, it may already be happening. The thing is, is how far into quantum computing do you actually think that we are? I know some people that are very well connected that actually say we're much further along than we're being led on to believe at this point. And I mean, it's not just definitely possible or maybe going on right now. We know that it, we know that time travel is possible and we have actually done experiments to prove it. However, it's not the kind of time travel that you guys are kind of thinking of. So let's check out Neil deGrasse Tyson, talk about this. It turns out when you travel at high speeds and other people don't, then your coordinate system changes for you at a different rate than it does for others. So there is a speed and a time with which you can travel and stay away, where if you come back after one of your years, Earth could have aged 10 years, a hundred years or even a thousand years, depending on how fast you moved. So in that sense, yes, we can go to the future. So we know that it is possible and that we can reproduce it or we can even do it in some cases just by you know practicing the theory of relativity or, or looking at the theory of relativity from Einstein and understanding that things move at different speeds depending on a variety of factors. And, and that includes time, time moves at a different speed. But how serious is actual like time travel where we're not just moving a couple seconds or we're going a million years in the future so nobody will ever be there with us again or anything like that? And what kind of limitations would something like this have? Well, check out this interview with Robert Lawrence Kuhn and Dr. Michio Kaku. You see, he's another scientist. You see him on Joe Rogan. You see him all kinds of places. He's a really smart guy and he brings it down to your level. And so the thing is, in this clip, he's gonna explain what is different, what has changed recently. The new wrinkle in all this, which is causing all the excitement and the dismay of philosophers, is that this river of time can fork into two rivers. Or perhaps the river of time can have whirlpool. Time can go in on itself. In that case, time travel is something you have to take very seriously. Because Einstein's equations do allow for time travel. Okay, but if time travel is possible and it's real or whatever, how would we do it? Like, what is it? Do you just teleport? Do you jump into a hole? Do you fly into a black hole? Well, it actually may be simpler and more achievable than you think. Check out Dr. Kaku talking about devices. And there are blueprints for different kinds of, of time travel designs that are compatible with Einstein's theory. For example, gigantic spinning cylinders. You go around the cylinder and you come back before you left. Colliding cosmic strings. You wind around these cosmic strings and you come back before you left. Time and space are like a fabric, uh, like rubber, like a trampoline net. You can turn this trampoline net into a pretzel and allow yourself to go backwards in time. Now I've got another scientist for you here. He's everybody's favorite scientist and Dr. Joseph Rogan. And Joe Rogan here is gonna actually tell a story about a guy who I actually reached out for an interview to, so we'll see what happens here. But I reached out to a guy who has already built a model of a time travel device. And it's a pretty cool story I think you're gonna wanna check out. That was the, that was the theory that Terrence McKenna had to the thing that's gonna change the universe, is that one day someone's gonna invent a time machine and that when they invent a time machine, all time ceases to become linear. So you think if you have a time machine, well, oh, I'll just go back to the time where they were making the pyramids and I'll watch them do it. That's not what it works like. What he was saying, you can't travel where there are no roads. So once a road gets built, then you can travel. So once a time machine gets invented, then anyone from the invention of the time machine forward to forever can come back to that moment and can go to any point in time from that moment to the end of time. So all time ceases to be linear. 
So there's no like tomorrow will be Wednesday and the next day will be Thursday. No, no, no. It's everything happens everywhere all at once. Yes. People can travel back and forth through time. You can never own anything because someone could just travel yeah. through time and take it away from you when you weren't looking. Like, like as time travel gets more and more sophisticated, you can go back and forth in time while you're talking to people. You know, if you don't like what you said, you could rewind and start all over again. If you're in an argument with your wife, you can go to the library and get information and come back and go, actually, you know, Herodotus once said, and then bam, your, your wife thinks you're the smartest guy in the world. Like this, but it would, it would, would, there would be no normal life anymore. It would like, w the world itself would be completely unrecognizable because time would mean nothing. You'd be able to travel back and forth through time. All right. So then, so then. Where would you go right now? Just if, if I do, we can time travel right now, go back in, in, in the, the past. One, in the past. Well, What's one thing you'd like to see again? See, that would be a different kind of time travel. That's an unrealistic theatrical version of time travel because, like you said, you, once time is invented, once time travel is invented, that's the time you can start traveling. So you, can so you can't go before that. Right. Okay. So, so, like, here we are. It's May of 2022. If time travel is invented in June, we're, we're not going back to April. You can't go back yeah. to April. Okay. But you can go to from June to a million years in the future and see what people look like. You'll be able to do that. But they'll be able to come back, too, and everything's going to be happening everywhere all at once. There's not going to be any sort of structure to life. There's not going to be anything in terms of money, possessions. As long as you could freely time travel, there will be no time. Everything's going to be moving around. And, and also, instantaneously, you'll become immortal. Because whatever we have right now in terms of technology, what we're going to have in a million years is going to be godlike. And oh, you're going to be able to travel God. to that. If, in fact, that actually does even take place, because the question becomes, like, what is the future if time travel does exist? So if time travel exists in June of 2022, is there even a future? Like, does it even take place? Because how can anybody invent things when they can just travel to a point where someone invented it already? But how are they going to invent it already if you can just travel to the future? And do they invent things still? Or do people, if they do invent things, how does, how, what's to stop people from going back before them and taking the idea and introducing it before that? Thus, there'll be no intellectual property because there'll be no way to say you came up with it first. It won't exist. Carlos Mencia will be the greatest comedian in the world. <laughs> Is there someone working on time machines yeah. right now? There's got to be, right? Well, there's a guy named Ronald Millett. I think he's out of the University of Connecticut, if you Google this. And he's got the craziest Spider-Man character uh, origin story. His father died, and he became obsessed with time travel because he wanted to go back in time and save his father. So he became a professor studying time travel and he came up with a workable model of a time machine but it requires immense immense power that's him ron Millette built a device that illustrates the principles he believes could be used to build a time machine <clears throat> but he was one of the people that came up with the first one of the first people to come up with the realiz realization or, or the revelation that once that time machine was invented oh, dad died from in Vietnam. then yeah uh, it's, but it's i mean it is really like a comic book superhero sort of a uh, origin story isn't yeah. it yeah well it's a great origin story yeah so this guy has become obsessed and has been working on it for decades and they think they have a working model of uh, you know like at least a theoretical model of a time machine but it just requires like the power of the sun right and at the end of that clip i do want to point out that Joe Rogan talks about immense energy. It's got to take immense energy. And Dr. Kaku talks about this as well, is that what you have to have is like almost the energy of a star or a solar system or something to really be able to make this possible. And the thing is, though, is advanced civilizations have the potential to do this. And that's another thing that Dr. Kaku talks about. And we'll look at some more of these videos and some more of these concepts. But guys, I, I believe, and this may sound insane, right? But I believe this is already going on. I think this is already happening. I think time travel has already been invented, tested, and it's going on. If we're not able to go back into the past before time travel device, whatever, is invented, you see, I believe it's already happening. There, we're going to look at a lot of articles later on that are going to talk about tests of scientists sending particles back in time. So maybe even we could go back in time before the time machine maybe is even invented. That is what some people are saying. And this would be a perfect explanation for something like UFOs, right? That is our own technology. It's only our technology 
from the future. And we're going to dig into some of that and look at some of that stuff because, you know, aliens and that stuff, it didn't really interest me, you know, why? Because I just didn't think anything was real. I didn't think there was anything kind of supernatural or um, phenomenon like going on in this world. And it looks like <clears throat> there really never has been. Uh, the truth is, is that it's potential that quantum mechanics and in the quantum level is what we've always been seeing is kind of some weird stuff and now we've actually got computing devices where we can make use of these and we can actually multiply our ability to do things especially when you combine it with ai multiple times and we're going to continue talking about quantum computing a good bit but i, I think really you have to understand quantum computing is going to change things for the world it's going to change things completely it, this is like we're going into the industrial revolution from farmland okay that's basically what i believe that we are going to go through in our lifetimes and it's a kind of exciting thing this freestyle friday let me know if you guys like when i talk about stuff like this and let me know your thoughts if you believe this is possible is a bunch of mumbo jumbo drop your comments down below i'll tell you who takes it very seriously mr x takes it very seriously quantum computing and the unreal possibilities of it so keep that in mind make sure to smash that like button so i gotta be blessed